Um, I've got a couple of other things to show you. Another request that we've had for a long time is a way of showing the album art not only down here in the corner, which we've always had, but now it shows up on the tracks on either side. Uh, so that's really cool for like being able to instantly recognize uh, where you know the songs you can see immediately what songs we've got loaded with just a quick glance very cool that one um, we've got a uh, new way of handling the iTunes library you'll see here I've got it displayed but you're able to fold it which I really like because I like to have it there but it takes up a huge amount of space because I've got lots and lots of iTunes playlists um, so in this case, I, I personally just stick to crates most of the time, but I use iTunes. Well, I got an iPhone, so that's the main reason I use iTunes, but it's pretty handy. Um, live feed is our uh, one of the new features of 1.9, and it's a pretty cool one. It's uh, one that's come out of the Serato Labs rather than uh, from lots and lots and lots of requests from DJs. but. One of the things I've always liked about Scratch Live is the ability to record your voice and uh, drop it straight onto the turntable. Uh, but, uh, you know, voice or any other instrument actually with the uh, guitars, drums, all sorts of things. But I've always found there's been a little bit of an obstacle to it. The workflow is not quite right because you've got to hit record, then do your recording, and then hit load or save and then load it on. There's a little bit of a delay. So what we've done is taken the um, controls, basically made the turntable itself the control for doing this. So one way I like to describe it is that the audio is being piped or fed or streamed directly onto the turntable, which means that all you have to do to play what you just recorded is just pull the turntable back and let it go, and it's right there. So I'm gonna try and demonstrate this for you. Let me see. Sammy, go Sammy. All right. I feed. Check, check. Uh, so what I have here. Uh, is a way of just recording directly onto the turntable. Uh, is a way of just recording directly onto the turntable. And what I'm saying is just coming straight out onto the turntable straight away. What I'm saying is just coming straight out, uh, straight out onto the turntable straight, straight away. Yeah. 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 So if I catch it right up, this is the short delay. And what I'm saying is right there. I'm saying is right there. So you can imagine, you know, if you've got a guitarist or something, if you're um, if you're playing with a live band, you can have the feed coming straight in, basically to your turntable. It's pretty cool. It's very very cool. Uh, the one I was just showing you there has a has a gate, so it means that it will only record see here the gated record source and you can see at the gate level so it'll only record uh, while there is noise which makes it nice and easy um, while you're looking at the screen there I'll just show you we've done a few little tweaks we've changed import to files uh, relocate lost files is in there now uh, which is just a little bit of a tidy up makes it much easier to use and uh, I guess the last thing I want to show you is this feature called history. We've changed review to history. And the cool thing about that is it now remembers everything. So I'm able to go back through time and see everything I ever played at every gig or every session. Um, that was something that always bugged me about Scratch Live was that, you know, at the end of the night, 
you exit Scratch Live and it's gone. You know, you can see what you played during the session, but you can't see it the next day. You might wake up in the morning and be like, oh man, there was that killer combo. What was it? It was this track into that track. I don't quite remember. Now you'll be able to go back months and months and months and see what you played. You're also able to uh, make a selection and export it. Uh, either as a text file or a CSV file, if you want to like chuck it in Excel or a M3U playlist file. It's going to be really, really good for, for example, DJs who play on the radio have to report everything that they play. Um, and also, like for example, if you're making a mix CD, chuck it in there. Um, get your track list out. Okay, so that is the quick rundown on Scratch Live 1.9. There's a bunch of other stuff, but that's the cool things that I like.